was not me. I, I, I will talk. Hey! 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 His girlfriend, uh, his girlfriend that had a baby for him. Hey! It's you. What? Yes. Uh, her name is Jasmine. Hey! 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 Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review, the only reviewer that has two channels. So yeah, subscribe to both channels and unlock a big booty. I know you want it. I know you need it because I already have because I subscribe to both channels and I already have a big booty. Why are you gay? Okay, like this video, comment if possible, and roll intro. <laughs> Guys, today is a sad day. Two years on YouTube and I have never felt this unloved before in my life. In my last video, I begged you all to join my Patreon so I could stop using the rock I am using currently to edit these videos. And guess how many people joined? Just one person! <laughs> Thank you all for making me feel bad. Thank you for saving your money instead of giving me. My brother is right here. He's going to say a little bit. Yes, I use that same rock to edit. It sounds like me, right? It's, it's me. It's me. It's me. Guys, nobody subscribe to the Patreon. It shocked me. I'm not gonna lie. But it's all good because this, this is a Wacko's review and our motto is we keep failing. <laughs> Please subscribe if you have money. I beg. Thank you very much. Who says I'm gay? Okay, the men's club. Story about four guys that live in Lagos. They all have jobs, but women are able to control all of them. Is that good enough for you guys? Are you up to speed about the show? Alright, let's go. This episode actually started with Tayo and... Mm, 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 mm. I have always started Tayo's segment with this. Tayo is still feeling the effect of his money that was stolen by Tiara. Okay, the episode started with this song. Dear Tiara, If I'm doing good, I pray you're doing better. Nope! She's an addict, remember? But Tiara woke up confused on why she was in his house. Then he came with breakfast. And I know ladies like this part. Like, oh, man feeding me breakfast in bed. Ta! Yeah, feed yourself. <laughs> he explained why she is in his house. Then said he doesn't want to trade her for anything. He actually wants her back. And then told her that he denied the deal that her father gave him. And she was like, are you mad? That's the only reason I am angry with you. Now all the drugs I took have no meaning. Then she said this. I'm more or less a little sister to you. Nope. You are an addict, remember? But for the first time, they spoke to each other without any distractions, which is something we know they actually never do. Because on one side, you have one party stealing, and on the other side, the other one is kind that his money was stolen. She also said she loves him, and I hate how Tayo was shocked here. So let me pause and talk a little bit about Nigeria. You see, since the dawn of time, Nigerians have always been known as one country that the word love is meaningless to us. For a Nigerian guy, you have to tell a girl you love her 50 times before she would even kiss you. But if you have six packs, that would be reduced and you can only tell the girl you love her three times. But for me, it's a hundred times. I don't even know why. So guys, this has always been our culture. So please, Red TV, I've sent you an email. Change it. Change it. Then as she was crying because she just realized Tayo never loved her back, her dad then called Tayo. And to be honest, no one was surprised because his doors are always opened to the wall. Tayo is a humanitarian, remember? Oh, I like this part because this was a PSA on why drugs are bad for you. She was like, I want to go to rehab. He was like, okay. She said, do you know how many drugs I use? He said, what's my business? <laughs> she said, you don't love me. He said, I love you. I am walking on you. The tire hit her on her head, then they bundled her in the bag and took her to rehab. Yep. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> that happened. Just trust me. The entire my guy had lunch with this sly called Hadiza. Look at this guy checking her out here. First your work. Stop looking at her. Um I did not say anything, no. anything. If you think that's what I what you think, you know what you, you know what you're thinking. I wasn't thinking about it, I was thinking about something. Nothing big happened to Larry except he almost poisoned his third baby mama because she's pregnant for him. I was the first person to read the script, so I know what I'm saying. I'm not just lying. His second baby mama came and spoiled everything in a good way because if she came at a better time, mm, things would have happened. His third baby mama came and started preaching and feeling all confused that Larry is apparently a gigolo. And I've been shouting it since. But all she said here would pass through his head because you trust that Dunganga Dungus. That's the botanical name if you did not know. But trust that Dunganga 
would forget everything. How <laughs> should I come up with this rubbish? <laughs> Chris and Lola are in their honeymoon stage and what this means is they kiss anywhere and they don't care who sees them. On today's episode on Lola and Louis's honeymoon stage, they did it in front of Konye, who is the real definition of Dunganga Dongus. So after the battle for the house, they both decided to leave that said house to her and also the furniture. And even after all the fights and how messy it was, Tonye still wants Louis. And all I can say is Tonye is actually a special breed. She's part of the new edition of girls that are coming out soon. They are called the Wako Babes. They are the finest. When it comes to brilliance, the finest. Then Tonya and Louis had this heart to heart conversation that ended with Louis walking away and her crying as she reminisced on the good old days. And there was never a good old days, to be honest, because he has always been cheating on you. As I said, guys, special breed of girls, the Wako Babes. You can pre order them down in the comment section they come with four years of panado extra because you're going to run my you stupid you're stu yeah you you're stupid then after that louis and lola went to their new house which is very small then lola said i can't believe two of your hats filled all our boxes and louis was like thank god i'm wearing the third one or this whole house will be occupied. He then said they should do a play play marriage and she said if we're going to do this play play marriage I will get a tattoo on my box and she was joking but he did not know she was joking because he said let's go now let's go right now I want you to tattoo my box on your box <laughs> Double bots. Now, the part that everyone has been waiting for, the amino segment, guys. At first, we saw this shot of Houston, and I know everyone was speculating. It's a lie. They did not go to the US. It's a lie. It's a lie. Oh, they actually went there. Nah. Nah, maybe it's just a fancy hotel in Nigeria. Oh, oh, he went outside. That's crazy. But this was just Red TV telling us that they, they have the budget. You all are broke. Me, we you're all are. <laughs> we are all broke. <laughs> he came back home to surprise Miss T. They had a little argument with Jasmine. Jasmine won because, uh, duh, she's the queen. She walked out, and that's how the show ended. All we saw next was the end credits. Wonderful episode. Wonderful episode. Jasmine is fine. Um, everyone is fine. And yeah, what are your expectations? Drop it down. Amino is going to be short in the next episode. I don't think I'm missing anything. You guys think you're smart? I am smarter. Thank you guys for watching. A one review out! <laughs>